Hi darlings, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another fashion video. Today's video is really exciting, something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about how to take your old clothes and make them look and feel new, make them look stylish, make them relevant for today's trends, and a few little hacks on changing your mentality when you shop so that you don't have the issue of having nothing to wear and feeling like all of your clothes are out of date. So I had quite a lot of fun um, researching this video. I typed into the YouTube search box um, how to make your old clothes look new again. I wanted to see what else was out there and oh my goodness. <laughs> There were so many crazy DIYs. So let me tell you what this video is not going to be. I'm not going to be telling you to do weird little cutting, snipping jobs on your t-shirts to make them really cool and edgy with little holes for your thumbs. I'm not going to be telling you to snip holes in your old fluffy socks to make them into gloves and hand warmers. These are honestly things that I found when I was researching this video. So this video is not going to be anything like that. This is going to be a lot more refined um, and how to genuinely make your old clothes look new and stylish again. <laughs> Having joked about those crazy hacks, I am going to start with two or three DIYs and then we're going to move past the DIYs because let's be honest they're often quite tragic. <laughs> the first DIY I think is really obvious so I'm just going to skip through it really quickly. We all have an old favourite pair of jeans that fit us around the booty really nicely. Um, they just are dreamy, but maybe they've got a little bit rough around the edges at the bottom. Maybe they're just no longer looking their most stylish self. The easiest thing you can possibly do is cut the bottoms. Don't be afraid to just get a big pair of sewing scissors, any sharp pair of scissors, and hack away. Because let's be honest, right now jeans that are a little bit scruffy around the edges, jeans that are a little bit cropped with a raw hem are all the style. So if you do have a pair of old skinny jeans that you want to update, then just get a pair of sewing scissors, pull a few threads to make them loose. You don't need to finish the edges off. I did these um, a couple of months ago and they've been in the wash a few times, which makes them even more scruffy. So yeah, a very, very easy DIY to do. If you have a pair of black jeans, side note, um, and you want to make them more black, it's really easy to dye your own jeans. So just buy, I think it's Dylon, you can just shove that into the washing machine and make your black pair even blacker if they do go a little bit grey, that's another easy tip. And something else you can do with the hems of your jeans is create a step hem. So step hem is where it's a little bit longer at the back, that's really on trend right now. Now, so you could just create a little bit of a shelf in the top section and that'll make your jeans even more stylish. A crazy trend that we're starting to see this summer is also pedal pushes. That brings me back to my childhood and I never thought that pedal pushes would come back into fashion again. They are jeans that finish or are they long shorts? Either just above or just below the knee. They look a little bit dorky, I'm not going to lie, but they are very much on trend. So again, if you have a pair of skinny jeans in white or pastel pink or even denim, then try cropping them even shorter and you'll be nailing the pedal pusher trend. If you have an old handbag that needs updating or you just want to make it feel new and fresh again, then why not take a little scarf? This one I absolutely adore. It's so multifunctional. This one is from Reese. It is a silk scarf and tie it around the handle. You can either do a very casual little tie along the side, just like so, and this is a really good way of incorporating new trends into your classic things. Say um, you wanted to take part in the blush pink trend, but you didn't want to invest in a whole new blush pink handbag, just get a blush pink scarf and that's an instant way to update an old bag and make it feel new and fresh again. It's also really good if you are packing for a capsule wardrobe for a holiday perhaps. I packed my little straw bag for our trip to the Maldives and I was wearing it in every single photo, so I just took the scarf that I was wearing around my head, wrapped it around the side for for a couple of days, wrapped it around the top handle for a couple of other days, and it just totally transformed it and made it not the same bag every single time, even though it was. So this is one way to do it, or if you want to update it even further, then you could wrap it all the way around the top handle. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. 
super super easy to do and can potentially just give your old handbag a whole new look particularly as this silk scarf around the handle is very much on trend at the moment if you've got any classic bags this one's not actually old um, it's from LK Bennett but I was just using this to demonstrate my point but this is a really easy way of making an old classic bag look and feel new and stylish again. So those are my DIYs. There's obviously some really easy and obvious things that every magazine, YouTube video will recommend to you. Things like changing the buttons, chopping off sleeves. There are a lot of DIYs you can play around with. If you have got a cheap uh, trench coat or dress that has some not very nice buttons, that is actually a really good thing to do. Um, but other than that, I don't do too many DIYs other than taking up hems, which I think is really easy and simple and does doesn't look naff. <laughs> so now I'm going to share more tips as opposed to DIYs and my first tip is to have a spring summer wardrobe and an autumn winter wardrobe and what I like to do is pack away the clothes that are not in season at the moment for a few different reasons. The first reason is that it allows you to have a lot more room in your wardrobe so you can see a lot more clearly what you have and therefore if you do have some real gems from previous years you're less likely to forget about them because they're more visible and you can really make the most of them. The second reason is because what is so lovely about bringing down your new season but actually old season clothes is that you feel like you're shopping your own wardrobe. If you've been clever with your original shopping, and I'm going to talk about clever shopping mentality shortly, then it'll be like shopping clothes but for free because you already own them and that is absolutely amazing. I think I actually did a video on this. Yes, I did. I did a video on updating my wardrobe for spring where I did exactly that. I bought my clothes, my spring summer clothes, down from the loft, took them out of their vacuum packed bags, took them out of their suitcases, gave them a steam and they looked fresh and new and because I'd been wise when I was buying those clothes originally, I'd gone for classic items that I knew I'd love for years and years to come. It was just like having a whole new wardrobe, but actually I'd owned those clothes for years. So moving on from that tip, I am just going to talk briefly about the mentality when it comes to shopping. Now this isn't going to help you right now when it comes to um, making your old clothes look new again, unless you've had this mentality for a few years, but it is unsurprisingly investing in quality classic pieces. I feel like a stuck record and I know I talk about it all the time on my channel but I really think it's so important to have a base wardrobe of quality classic timeless pieces. I'm going to give some examples of where for me that has really paid off. Now bear in mind that um, if I was in my early 30s, I'd probably have a lot more examples to show you and I'd have a lot older examples to show you. But I only started investing in quality pieces when I was about 20, 21, and I'm now 25 or 26. I'm in my mid 20s at the moment. So I've only been investing in good quality pieces for the past four or five years because before that, I couldn't afford it. So I just shopped from Primark, Miss Selfridge, Topshop. That was about as, as far as it went. However, since I started investing in quality basics, the pieces that I bought even four or five years ago are still in my wardrobe to this day, making it so easy to pick out pieces year after year and they still look fabulous. Let me show you some examples. This was probably the first really expensive thing that I bought with my first paycheck. I used to work at Reese in the store, so I did get, I think, a 40% staff discount on this. This I purchased, I think, four years ago. Reese don't even make labels like this anymore. Like this is old school, old school Reese. But I probably, if I really looked back, have a picture of me trying this on in the changing room. And actually the white dress that I wore in that picture, I still have as well. Reese is one of those retailers that is great for investment pieces. I'd never get rid of anything that I have from Reese because they're so timeless. This, I just, the quality is absolutely gorgeous. I don't wear many leather jackets. I don't really wear a lot of black. So for me, a brown leather jacket, oh my goodness. I just absolutely adore it. And now that I've tried it on again, I'm gonna get even more use out of this. So something like this, when it comes to a wardrobe staple, invest. Invest, 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 because the quality is there, it lasts you a lifetime. Something else that has been in my wardrobe for a long time is this. It's again from Reese. It's a beautiful little flared skirt. If anybody has any of these things, by the way, that I'm showing from years ago, then let me know. That would be bonkers if we both have these four or five year old items. But once again, for me, buying this was a real, it was a real huge investment and also I was a bit like, oh my God, I don't know if, I, don't know if I'm gonna wear it enough, but because it's such good quality, it still looks brand new and I'm going to give you some tips on keeping things looking brand new next. Because of that and because it's very classic, beautifully made, 
I still wear this to this day. It's quite autumnal, but how I style it up now is with a new jumper, a new blouse. I could even wear it with something like I'm wearing now, so mixing the old with the new, but moral of the story is because I invested, it still looks fabulous even years on. You don't always have to go to these premium high street retailers to get great quality. This is a bit of a throwback piece. This is a suede skirt from ASOS, and this was actually featured in my very first ASOS haul on YouTube. I think it was actually in the thumbnail. If I can find it, I'll insert a picture here. Um, the only thing wrong with this is that a button at the top is about to fall off. Really easy to repair. I can do that in a few moments. But this was, this was fairly pricey for ASOS. I think this was around 70 or 80 pounds. But when it comes to choosing good quality pieces that are staples in your wardrobe that you want to last years and years, always look at the material. Materials that are long lasting, such as suede, good quality leather, but then also materials that are a little bit more fragile, such as silks. They are going to maintain that beautiful look and feel throughout the years, but they just need a little bit more care for them. This I knew was a really good quality piece. I think ASOS, especially ASOS own brand, which this is, can be a little bit hit and miss, but that's where their return service comes in very handy. This, as soon as I opened it up, I could feel that it was really good quality suede, so I knew it would be a keeper. And that, if it was one of my first hauls, that would have been about three years ago. Not ancient, I know, um, but it just shows that the quality really does stand the test of time. Some other pieces, um, again from Reese, I have this silk t-shirt. Because it was from Reese, it's very well made, um, very classic. There's nothing very striking about this. It's just a very simple, basic piece, never going to go out of style, so another great investment piece that I wear over and over again and then I also wanted to show you something from this year's Reese collection this video is not sponsored by Reese that is something that I've actually bought this year in the knowledge that it is a classic piece that's not going to go out of style in two five ten years and I'll probably still be wearing this in my 40s as a mum hopefully um, because it's such a good quality piece so it's not too late to invest in those classic items and other than tops, things like knitwear, always good to invest in slightly higher price point knitwear. This is a cashmere cardigan from Next. Again, very classic, really good quality, and I've worn this for three or four winters now. I would say that investing in quality classic pieces is even more important when it comes to outerwear because it's the first thing people see when they meet you, when they look at you, and I think good quality outerwear is always worth the investment. A couple more examples. This is a Ted Baker trench coat that I got a couple of years ago. Still absolutely love it. The only detail is the black piping around the lining. Trench coats, I mean, one day hopefully I'll own a Burberry trench coat like this because it's never going to go out of style. You can get so much use out of it. The quality ensures that it stands the test of time and it always looks super. And then there are also things which are a little bit more stylish. I'm just going to pop this down. And then there's pieces like this, which is again from Reese. This is a slightly more lilac colored trench coat. And the reason why I wanted to share this one is because brands like Reese will often bring back classic pieces like this year after year. This I purchased a couple of years ago, but they actually bought something almost identical to this out this year. So because I've taken good care of this, I take it to the dry cleaners at the end of each season. Um, it still looks as good as new and it still looks almost identical to something that's in the stores right now. To demonstrate that point further, I have two different jumpers from French Connection. This is very typical of premium high street stores. They often bring back winning products year after year. They just make slight design details. Now, if I showed you this jumper with a floral sleeve detail and this jumper with the floral sleeve detail, would you know which one is the 2018 version and which one is the 2016 or 17 version? Probably not because they look so, so similar. Uh, this one is the 2018 version. I feature this one quite a lot. I absolutely loved the old version, so I thought, why not get an upgrade? But I really didn't need to. I could have just worn this one, the old one. Throughout this season, it would have been very much on trend, very similar to what was in the stores at the moment. And again, because I took really good care of it, it still looks good as new. So I feel like those pieces demonstrate the point of investing in quality basics, quality pieces. And I did say quite a few times throughout that, that they are still looking great because I've taken really good care of them. So a few very quick tips. I am actually going Going to do an entire video on how I care for my clothes because you guys ask for it so much and I promise you it is coming. But a few tips, 
Don't be afraid to go to the dry cleaner. If you do invest in a 200 pound coat, then it's such a shame to have it not looking its best. I always think that you can buy a Topshop coat, you can buy a Primark coat, and if you take good care of it, it'll look so much better than someone else who spends thousands of pounds on a Burberry coat but doesn't take good care of it. If you're walking around in something creased and a little bit mucky with foundation around the neckline, that's never going to look new and stylish, whereas, if you were to take your high street or your premium high street coat to the dry cleaners, it can be maybe 30 pounds, but it'll look fabulous for the rest of the season. Another thing that I use to keep my old clothes and my new clothes looking great is my steamer. This is my best friend, my Philips Steam and Go. I absolutely love this. I find it very quick and easy to just make clothes that are either worn or they've come out of storage look fresh again. This video is not sponsored by Philips, but I did actually work with them um, on a blog post. And within that blog post, I have a discount code for this. So I'll leave that linked down below. But this is particularly fabulous. In fact, I used this when I did that video where I bought my spring summer stuff down from the loft and just instantly freshens things up. The steam also um, kills bacteria because of the heat. So it's a great way of making your things look and feel really clean and fresh and new again. So definitely recommend investing in a steamer to keep your wardrobe looking its best. Also, again, I'll go into this more in the video about caring for your clothes, um, but just making sure that you're reading the care instructions, washing your delicates separately. My washing machine has a hand wash setting specifically for silks and cashmeres and things like that. So just use that. If you have a boyfriend that likes to, or girlfriend that likes to scoop everything out of the wash basket and shove it all in the machine, maybe just have a little drawstring bag where you keep your more delicate pieces so there's no chance of anything going bobbly or getting shredded in the the wash. So another tip for making your old clothes look and feel new and stylish is having a really fun afternoon or morning of trying things on. Often we see things, we see things in our wardrobe and we remember how we styled them back in 2012 or 2015 and so we have kind of a bad image of them in our heads. It's only when we put these pieces on that we remember why we loved them so much, why the fit was so great, how they made us feel and then trying these old pieces on with your new pieces is a great way to fall back in love with your old favourite items. Like that leather jacket, I actually haven't pulled that out of my wardrobe in probably over a year and I just forgot how great it looked and how great it made me feel and even just trying it on for the camera in front of you guys now, I know that I'm going to be pulling that out the next time I have an event where it's going to be a bit chilly in the evenings, I will be wearing it. So it sounds silly and you're probably like, oh, I don't need to do that, but it makes such a difference actually trying your things on, try it with other old things, try it with new things, Order some stuff in, go do an ASOS haul, do a Topshop haul, mix and match old with new, always makes your outfit feel fresh again. Something else I'd recommend when you're doing this is when you find a winning outfit, take a snap in the mirror, take a selfie, and have an album on your phone of these outfits. That will serve as inspiration if you're having one of those mornings when you have nothing to wear, just go to that album in your phone and you'll be full of so many ideas thanks to that one afternoon, maybe coffee fueled, where you just try everything on and put together loads of great outfits with old and new clothes alike. And then lastly, it's all about taking inspiration. So again, it sounds kind of obvious, but just scrolling through Instagram, saving outfits that you love. Say you have a suede skirt, and they're totally coming back in this autumn, I can feel it. I absolutely love my suede skirts. Say you've got a suede skirt and you're not sure how to style it to make it look cool for the existing season, just go through your Instagram, go through Pinterest type in suede skirt. Also on the Like to Know It app, which is an app which is basically shoppable Instagram, amazing, I'll leave it linked down below. You can now search for particular products. So you could type into the app suede skirt and you can see all of these bloggers, celebrities, stylish people styling up their suede skirt, something that you've got in your wardrobe, and it might just give you an idea. You might actually have the other pieces that this person is wearing or something very similar in your wardrobe, or you might want to treat yourself to one or two new things so that you can get that look and make your old item look and feel very new and stylish again. So those are my tips for making your old things look new and stylish again. I bet you guys have got loads of tips as well, so please let me know what you do or what you think you you could do share your tips in the comments section below so that I can enjoy them I can learn from them and other people watching this video can have a look through them as well so please please share your tips if you have got any items that you um, go back to year after year do you have something like my brown leather jacket let me know what those items are I'd love to know what your most worn best investment pieces are um, that you go back to without fail every single year so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please give it a thumbs up it just takes you a few seconds 
recommendations and it really helps me to know which videos you guys love. If you haven't already, then please hit that subscribe button for loads of style videos, lots of beauty, travel, hauls, lookbooks, trend videos, etc, etc. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.